Hello everyone, my name is Morgan and I have a little sister who is 12 years younger than me. Yeah, currently I'm 23 and she's 11. Uh, there's no siblings in between us, it's just the two of us. <laughs> so we've got quite the age gap. I also do a let's play on this channel of the game Twisted Wonderland and I have come to just absolutely adore this game and the characters and the story so much. So I thought it would be fun if I tried to explain this game to my little sister and have her rank the characters because like many kids her age, she is a Disney fan. She knows who all the characters and the villains are. So yeah, that's what I did and uh, here are the results. <laughs> oh, oh, this is this is squashed. Ah, I'm trying to fall off. I'm trying to push the chair forward. <laughs> I'm gonna fall off. Are you ready? I, I think. Well, don't quit turning the chair. I can't. So this game is called Twisted Wonderland. Okay. And so the basic premise is that you are a person. Whoa. <laughs> wow. And you wake up and you're in this other world called, guess what? Twisted Wonderland. Whoa, I would it's, never have guessed. And so this, this is a game made by Disney. And so in this game, all the Disney villains are real people. Well, they were. They're kind of dead now, I think. <laughs> um, and so everyone in this world, they worship the Disney villains like they're the greatest people to ever live. And they like love them. And so when you wake up, you're at this school called Night Raven College. And all the students, you're kind of stuck there because you can't get back. So you have to t attend this school now where all these students are like worshiping these murderers, basically. And so there's all these dorms and each dorm is based on a Disney villain. And they like especially worship that one. And the characters also kind of based off of the characters in the movies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the dorms and show you the characters. I'm going to give you a few basic facts on them and you're going to give them your like your thoughts and then rate them on a scale of one to five, five being this is a cool character, I like them. One being, you're stupid, go away. <laughs> okay? He looks like a catchy. Why? No, he doesn't! <laughs> <laughs> the jacket! Like, just looking at the jacket. I don't even know who that is supposed to be. You know, well, you'll find out. Okay, let us begin. So, the first dorm is the Hearts Label dorm. Do you know what Disney villain they worship? Queen of Hearts. You got that right. My fa one of my favorites. So the first character is Riddle. Um. He, the one he kind of represents is the Queen of Hearts. So he's like obsessed with rules. And if you don't follow the rules specifically made by the Queen of Hearts, he's gonna like get really mad and punish you. And it's kind of a problem. Oh. So what are your thoughts and your rating? I love his outfit. Uh, it is good. I love the outfit and the scepter. It's beautiful. Uh huh. I love it. So 10 out of 10 for that. But <laughs> the scale was five. <laughs> the scale was five. <laughs> five. Okay. <laughs> okay, next character. This is, okay, all the rest of the characters in this dorm, they just represent the card soldiers. Oh. Okay, so this is Ace. Um, he's kind of dumb a little bit, uh, and he gets into trouble a lot. I don't really have much else to say about him. <laughs> he's a little bit of a troublemaker. I love the outfit as well. I love the makeup too. And the hamster's cute. <laughs> I mean, the hamster has nothing to do with him. Characters that are dumb are, are really funny. So yeah. I'd say five out of five. Okay. This is Deuce. He hangs out with Ace a lot, so he tends to get in trouble a lot, but he tries his best to not be a troublemaker. I love the outfit as well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they all kind of have the same outfit. Yeah, the outfits are very, very nice. They did a wonderful job on the outfits. And he has blue. I like blue. Mm -hmm. And I like the makeup and the eye color too. Uh-huh. So I'd say five out of five as well. Oh, you're a Hearts Label fan. I am. Okay, this is Cater. His entire personality is he loves social media and he talks like in hashtags and slang and like shortens words. That kind of sounds like me sometimes. <laughs> so do you like Cater? Cater's a cool dude. I just don't like his facial expression. It looks weird. No? <laughs> Does that lose him points? I'd say four out of five just because of the face. Okay, and this is Trey. I don't have much to say about him. He's kind of a nerd. Um, and he Ew. literally likes dental hygiene. Ew! I, he's like obsessed with <laughs> teeth brushing. <laughs> That's a three. A three? Oh, I. The outfit and the hat is cool. Everything else is just no. <laughs> okay, it's time for the next dorm Savannah Claw. What, what's their Disney villain? I'm guessing Scar. Yep. So the first member is Leona, and he represents Scar. And his whole thing, he's basically like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna do anything to be the best and be on top, even if it includes breaking people's ankles. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so 
that's Leona. <laughs> that was, that's a five. <laughs> it's a five for that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, next up is Ruggy. He represents the hyenas. And Aww. he <laughs> he kind of like does all of Leona's work for him, kind of. So he does the ankle breaking for Leona. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your thoughts on Ruggy? He's a five out of five. He's so cute. <laughs> Well, next is Jack. Jack is your bro, okay? That's the best way to describe him. You can always count on Jack to have your back. He's your bro. Rhymes. Yep. <laughs> oh, I, for I forgot to mention, I don't, I have no clue who you're supposed to represent at all. Maybe another hyena? He's a wolf. His then who is he supposed to be? His last name is Hal, like a wolf. So I don't know who he's supposed to be. Who in the world is he supposed to be? I don't know. Well, what do you think of Jack? He'll be a four. He'll be a four? Okay. Yeah. Okay, next up we have Octavinelle. What is their villain? I'll give you a hint. Water. Oh, Ursula. Yeah. That's the guy you said looked like a catchy, by the way. <laughs> Does he still look like a catchy to you? Oh, like only with the jacket. Okay, well, he's the next character. His name is Azul. Oh. And he represents Ursula. And his thing is he's like extremely shady and sketchy and he basically runs a mafia inside of this college. Oh. Five. Five? Yeah. Oh, okay. He looks cool. Okay. Okay, next is Jade and Floyd. I put them together because they're kind of a package deal. They represent the eels. Oh yeah. They're twins. They're kind of like Azul's henchmen. They do a bunch of stuff for him in this weird fish mafia. Uh -huh. um, they're kind of scary. They're really tall and very scary. And they want to like... <laughs> squeeze you so hard you'd like die. Oh. So that's on Jade and Floyd. Well, this one's Jade on the left, this one's Floyd. Um, I'd say a four as well. Four? Or four, yeah. yeah. I don't have any other thoughts on them. I like their earrings. Oh, yeah, those are nice. I don't want those earrings. You want them? Yeah, they look cool. <laughs> okay. Well, next is Scarabia. What's what's their Disney villain? Jafar. Yep. So first is Kaleem, and he represents the Sultan. Oh yeah. Yeah. He's so he he is just you keep like squeaking this chair. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's it's squished. So Kaleem, now you just <laughs> slam down on the desk. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. So Kaleem. He's very nice and friendly, and he's just like very kind to everyone, and he's just kind of a ray of sunshine. He looks very cool. Yeah? And I love the detail on the staff, it's awesome. Oh yeah, you like the snake? Yeah, so I'd give it a five. Okay, this is Jamil, he represents Jafar. Um, so you know how like, Ruggy kind of breaks ankles for Leona? <laughs> yeah. Jamil's kind of like that with Kaleem, but Kaleem's too nice to break people's ankles. So it's better for Kaleem, <laughs> or it's better for Jamil. Um, he, yeah, they, he's kind of always around him, but Kaleem's a little dumb, so he's kind of always putting up with his antics, and he cooks. Uh, I'd give it a four. Next up is Pompiore. What Disney villain do they worship? A few moments later. Uh... 12 seconds later. Wait, it's that villain from Mulan, right? No. 12 o'clock midnight. That's a girl villain. It's a very well-known girl villain. Melissa. Oh, <laughs> no. Uh. I don't know. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Oh. The evil queen. Yeah, the evil queen. So first up is Vil. I forgot she existed. <laughs> <laughs> well, Vil, he represents the evil queen, and he's very obsessed with uh, looks and beauty and looking perfect and being the embodiment of everything that is beautiful and perfect. You know? Oh no. Yeah. So what do you think of Vil? I like the outfit. Mm-hmm. So I'd say four. You're only just ranking them on their outfits. <laughs> you got nothing about him loving beauty? No. Okay. That, that takes down the point. What? Yeah. Oh, that, that you gave him a four? Yeah. You got a four because he loves beauty? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, next up is Rook. Uh, he represents Rook? the- Rook? Yes. Rook Hunt, that's his name. And he represents the Huntsman. And the best way I could describe him is he's really, really weird. This Five is instant. a bizarre man. Five. <laughs> because that's like me. His kind of name is Rook, though. <laughs> that his name. Who names their their son Rook? Mr. and Mrs. Hunt. Okay, well, then we have Apple. <gasps> 
here, so pretty. He represents the apple. So ep while everyone apple. in this dorm, I know, and their name even says <laughs> Apple. 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 <laughs> Who got a name's Apple? Again, ask Mr. and Mrs. I forget his last name. <laughs> That's a great last name. Yep. So Apple, while everyone in this dorm is like obsessed with beauty, he's kind of, he doesn't really care, honestly. And he got some interests that are kind of like hardcore. And sometimes when he gets mad, he'll just like start talking in a Southern accent. <laughs> no. Uh, the point takes off for me because he's an apple. <laughs> <laughs> so so what is, what's his rating? I give it a four. Okay. I think Trey has the lowest rating so far with a three. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next up is the Ignahide dorm. What, what's their villain? Oh, um, Hades. Yep. So this is Adia. He represents Hades. Um, he, he's very good with technology. Um, he's also very introverted and likes to stay in his room and he loves anime and video games. I love the hair. Yeah, his hair is like literal fire. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, I give it a four. A four? What takes the point off? Teeth. Oh, he's, he's got he's got pointy teeth. He guys got shark teeth. So did the twins. They had shark teeth too. I don't know if you noticed. Oh, they did. Yeah. Oh. So this is Orto. This is Adia's little brother. He's a robot. Ooh. Adia made him, but they're brothers. I'm not gonna elaborate on that. <laughs> I, I once again, I love the hair. Mhm. Mm he looks super cool. He's a robot. Yeah. It looks like the it looks like that was that is a belt. And it looks like it's too big for it. He's got a, too big of a belt on. <laughs> too big of a belt. Five. Five? Yeah. Okay, now it's the final dorm, Diasomnia. Do you know what their villain is? Maleficent. Yep. So first up is Malleus. Rep oh, by the way, I didn't- I have no idea what Orto represents. Who? Orto. Oh! I don't know who he's supposed to be. Anyways, Malleus is Maleficent. Ah. Um, he is kind of- extremely powerful and might be several hundred years old um he is a little aloof on the ways of the world he's very mysterious once again love the outfit the horns i love the personality as well mm -hmm. so i give it a five this is lilia Ooh. um he is also possibly sev several hundred years old um i don't know this for sure because this hasn't been their chapter hasn't like been released yet in the game, but I'm pretty sure he like raised all the characters in the storm. Yeah, oh. <laughs> uh, he's also like extremely powerful, um, but he's a li like more laid back and knowledgeable and kind of I don't want to say a prankster, but he'll like mess with people. Five. Five. Yeah. How come? I love the hair uh -huh. and the outfit and the personality. Uh, like all adding up, it gets a five. Okay, well this is silver. I think he rep- oh, I don't know who Lily is supposed to represent. Silver, I'm pretty sure represents Aurora because he sleeps all the time. No. Um, that's honestly kind of all I know about him. He sleeps all the time and he's like a guardian for Malleus. A five. Yeah. Five? Yeah. Why? I like the outfit and- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those were some good reasons. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay, this is Sebek. Uh, he- he represents lightning. Oh, lightning. I don't know. I looked it up and that's what he represents. Why lightning? I don't know. But his whole his entire personality is he shouts and he's really loud and he's just like, I love Malleus. I will protect Malleus with my life. He's the coolest person to ever live. And that's it. That's all he talks about. And sometimes he'll praise Lilia too. But that's it. That's, that's Sebek. Man, he needs to calm down. <laughs> yeah, he literally is just shouting all the time. Yeah, he needs to calm down. Take a chill pill, man. Jeez. Uh, four. Four? Yeah. You like him more than Trey still? Yeah. <laughs> Poor Trey. <laughs> Trey, you are a nerd who likes teeth. <laughs> of course you're gonna get lower than this dude. Men's <laughs> back. <laughs> okay, well, that's all the dorms, but this is grim. Oh. So when you wake up in the game, this little cat monster is with you. And he's also there. And he's like, I'm gonna be the greatest mage ever. But everyone at the school is like, what on earth is this little cat monster doing here? <laughs> get away. Eventually you and Grimm get accepted and he, he, he's just kind of with you all the time. You're like students together and he follows you around and he's, he's your little gremlin monster cat. He's a tiny gremlin. Yeah, that's Grimm. He's cute. I, I agree. He, five. He's adorable. I thought he was ugly at first, but now I like him. <laughs> <laughs> Poor dude. Yeah. Okay.
This is a blurry picture, but I couldn't find any other pictures with all the all of them. It was hard. So, first things first, which dorm are you joining? Definitely the Queen of Hearts one. Okay. Even though Nerd Teeth Man is in there. <laughs> nerd Teeth Man. I'll just ignore him about his teeth Be and all. <laughs> because you like the Queen of Hearts? Yeah. Okay. Now my question is, which character do you think is my favorite? Based oh. on what I told you, who do you think is my favorite? Um... <laughs> this dude... <laughs> Jack?! <laughs> Did you just point to Jack?! <laughs> no! I like Jack, but no! <laughs> My favorite character is this one, Idea. Oh. Yeah. Well, any final thoughts on Twisted Wonderland? Nope, I don't think so. No? You got nothing? Nope. Other than the Trey likes teeth? Yeah. <laughs> like, why? Who's obsessed with teeth? Trey. He's He got, like, the lowest one. He should have had, like, teeth on his shirt or something. <laughs> like, on the back saying, I know teeth. This is a completely separate dorm, and it's just him, but he's the dentist from Finding Nemo. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for your thoughts and opinions, Sydney. Oh, yes. You're welcome. The end. The end, yes.